Funny enough, I never posted this video and I remember being so excited to make this cake, the money box cake, because I kept seeing it on my feed and I hadn't had a chance to make it. And finally, one of my cousins ordered for it for her friend and I was more than elated to do it. So the first thing I did the day before was load up the money into the papers so that I can test to see if the box itself would actually work because... I didn't want to, to do this the day the cake is due and then end up being stressed about it. And honestly, that was a very good decision because this cake, loading up this money took forever. And it's not the money that was the issue. It was literally opening these pieces of paper so that you can put the money in them. It took very long. And also like sticking them together so that you can be sure they come out well. And I remember my perfectionism. I had to make sure each note faced the same direction so that it's easy for the money, <laughs> not easy, so that when the money comes out, it looks tidy. And obviously I had to give it a test run. And I remember doing the test a few times, not just once so that I can be 100% certain it will work out. And then here is where my dumbness <laughs> came through. Because I tried to put the thing that you pull out of the box from the inside. And obviously that didn't work out. So I had to insert the money from where it, the ATM, where it would be coming out from. And then so that the thing that you pull remains on the outside. That's the only way it worked. Then the next day, I worked on the cake. The cake was a blueberry cake or lemon and blueberry cake. I can't remember. It's now, I think, four or five months since I did this cake. But clearly it was definitely a blueberry cake. And then I took the box thing and cut a piece of parchment that's the same size as the cake so that I could be able to have like the money box fit inside the cake perfectly. So I trimmed two, two of the layers and then just decorated the cake as I usually would. So I did the layering with blueberry compote and some fresh blueberries. So I'm pretty sure the cake was definitely <laughs> a blueberry cake if I'm doing that much different types of filling. Yeah, then I just crumb coat it as usual and refrigerate it for a little bit so that it can be setting. Also, the piece of cake that I cut out for where so that I can put the money box, I still decorated it and gave it to my cousin because there was so much cake in our house that weekend that I know for sure. And I had seen a few uh, videos on Instagram where people were saying the cake that is cut for the money box shouldn't be given to the client. And there was a bit of argument on that, that it doesn't belong to the client because they knew that the cake would be cut. But in my opinion, there was no difference. And then I also had a cupcake order. And initially, for the cupcake order is also for my cousin. Initially, I just did the, did the blueberry compote with strawberries and then decided to add one blueberry on each cupcake <laughs> so that it can look like more uniform. And then I went ahead to do the second coat. And here, I remember I was talking to my cousin. She was on her way to pick up the cake. And I remember lying to her <laughs> that the cake is almost done. But I honestly didn't think she'd keep time. I was hoping she wouldn't keep time because I had a few other orders that had slowed me down that day. But she did keep time. So I was working really, really quickly. But luckily, the parts that I find time consuming for cake decorating is doing the first, the layering and the first coat, the crumb coat. So the other parts for me were a little bit easier. Then the money box, I had to wipe it down with water with vinegar to disinfect it, I guess, because I find money filthy like so many people touch it before and then the box is going to be entering inside the cake so I cleaned it with water with vinegar and then wrapped it in cling film so that that box is not really touching the cake and so the whole cake becomes like food safe then I just finished up the cake and at this point my cousin was literally <laughs> outside telling me she's here to pick up so I decided to tell her to just enter the house and chill for like five minutes while this cake sets so that I can be able to do the stencil and the cake art thing, the face thing. And yeah, 
that's basically everything i had to do i had to add gold leaf let me tell you i don't work well under pressure well technically i do but not while you're watching so i did tell my cousin and her friend to go sit in the living room so that i can be able to finish up the cake comfortably and obviously they were kind enough to do that so i finished up the cake did everything that was meant to be done and our help was there helping me <laughs> rush and that's how it turned out so thank you so much for watching and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye